So what I have done, I have taken run out of focus. I've taken this nut, three quarter, three quarter nut. Why is this not focusing? Three quarter inch nut. I took half and I ground just the oxygon, I guess, or whatever you call it. Yeah. And that hot, 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 hot. This, my idea is takes this and it fits in there hammer it down All right then do the same thing on the bottom once I square this up somehow I don't have a belt I got a belt sander but not a, a stationary one so I don't know and then I'm gonna put the same thing on the bottom and then I'm going to weld the nut here and then on the inside and then do the same on the bottom right so the idea is when you put the threaded rod through and I weld you know a two foot one and a half foot threaded rod three quarter threaded rod onto a base plate this rod I'm gonna somehow see if I can maybe uh before I put the top nut on, I'll get a piece of angle iron, cut a hole in it, right? Roughly the same size as this. Weld that onto to this here. Then put the nut on and weld the nut on to the steep the ang iron and then weld, fill it all the way in uh, with weld. So the idea is this will fit onto this will actually fit into my scaffolding um, so with dang iron coming out like so that that wide you'll be able to screw this up and you'll have two nuts right so it should be pretty strong and you'll screw this up it will raise your scaffolding up or, right? Because I was looking at the ones in the store, and they did like uh, they only add to one, and they're fifty something bucks each. So over two hundred bucks, about taxes now, two hundred fifty bucks. Uh, and they they're only aluminum. They're not, you know what I mean? They're they're strong enough. I'm sure they are. They meet the OSHA standards or whatever. So, but. I think this would be just as strong or stronger, right? Because you got the two nuts, right? And ang iron. Anyway, that's my idea here. We, we'll see how, how this goes. And, uh, you know, you could be entertained because I could, uh, I could bugger this up, you know, a hundred ways since Sunday. But, uh, oh, oh, good save. Oh, not for my foot. Dropped the angle or dropped the grinder. So that's the, my idea. Uh, we'll get back to the next step. Um, so because you know, I might you know film welding it up, but I mean that's no big deal. Um, so I might get this done, and then we'll see uh, the end product. Stay tuned. Bloody hot, bloody hot, man.
on the beer legs. This hill, let's see, uh, outside the diameter of one and a quarter inches, black pipe. To find that around where I live, you might as well go and try to dig up a bar of gold. Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome back to my channel, it's a beautiful day here, a little cool, but uh, I had, uh, I just remember, I did a little bit of a video, I didn't post it or nothing, but I did a little bit of video on making these, so I just wanted to show the, the end product, this here is about, you know, two feet, right? And I think I showed in the, the other video that I'll post connected to this one about making these. So just a nut and half of it rounded. Took the hexagon off or whatever, rounded it so that it fit down. I cut a hole into this uh, flat bar. Just big enough so the nut can fit through the flat bar and fit down into this. And I welded the nut to the flat bar, welded the flat bar to the pipe. Come down to the other end and I welded a little bit in the inside. But I did that for one of them, but I'm thinking it was overkill because I'm uh, not sure if I mentioned it in the other video, but the gravity, the weight of the, the scaffolding is going to be resting on here. So it's down. This air can't go past the pipe. The nut can't go past the flat bar or the pipe, so it, it, it's all there as long as it's welded together and you know it's not moving. Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, because even if there was no weld on the top here, this the rod is two feet into the scaffolding. Uh, you know, well you can only go sixty forty, so. It's out of a two foot piece, you can only go, I think, 16 inches. Um, whatever that comes out to. But for safety reasons. But uh, even the scaffolding can't slide off of this anyway because the threaded rod is there, right? Makes sense. So then I just cut a piece of plate. Or a plate. Uh, what I had at the time, I think that's an eighth. Let me see. Yeah, that's a, an eighth inch plate. Um, cut a hole in it, right? Put the, put, put the threaded rod through so it's a little bit past here. Welded it to the plate. A nut here, welded the nut to the plate. And then the rod is into the, the, the rod is into the, the nut. Threaded through the nut down here and all welded together. So, um, so I just put this on the top here because, uh, you know, the I was going to have this pipe the other way. Just turn this the other way so that the scaffolding fit down over this pipe. And it was a pretty close con uh, tolerance so it wouldn't move and stuff but i couldn't find any more black pipe um like it you know it's very hard to find where i live i mean i drive hour to town and i could drive five hours to st john's but you know you can't just get in the car drive for five hours five hours back you can but i don't want to do it so i just put a i threaded a, a bolt through here to drill and put a washer so that it kind of it don't lean too far inside the scaffolding 
uh, I've only try trial ran it. Works works great. Uh, I drilled holes here so that like this is six inches, but if you only got a piece of two by four, um, I drilled holes so that it would fit in the two by four securely. You just put nails in there or screws, just to keep it from moving back and forth. So that's uh, the end product. It should be plenty strong, you know. You take, like I say about this, you got the pipe and another nut on the bottom of the pipe. So you got two nuts. Um, the only thing uh, that I would do different is I would have actually, I didn't have a die um, or anything, three quarter ten. This is what this is, three quarter ten. Uh, so, however, when I was in town, after I had this done, I did see a, uh, a tap three quarter ten. So if I would have had that, um, I would have threaded this, uh, flat bar, the quarter inch flat bar. I would have threaded that as well and threaded, um, the threaded rod into the nut into the, the flat bar and into the nut so that it, it would even be a lot stronger and it would, would definitely not matter about not having the welds on there, right? Or if they failed, I should say. It wouldn't matter because everything is threaded on the rod. Uh, yes, it is overkill so far as I'm concerned, but, you know, to have the two nuts taking the weight of the scaffolding i mean to me it just makes sense right so i right, said guys uh if you're thinking about making your own uh leveling uh jacks for your scaffolding uh i think i mentioned in in the other video or the first part of this video that for me it was 250 bucks um and that was kind of getting a deal on them for the, the biome, I know these aren't quite as fancy, but, you know, the other ones were aluminum, you know. They will work just fine for the amount that you use scaffolding. So, uh, if you're thinking about doing it, that's how I did it. And uh, they work okay as far as I can tell with the trial run, no problems. Thanks guys for subscribing and uh, have a good week.